Poland, September 1939. The German foe begins its ruthless march of conquest and sets the stage for World War II. Throughout the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands, Van Meegeren seized opportunities to build his legitimate art career and to create a name for himself. Lopez writes, the possibility of having a successful public art career was the primary motivation in Van Meegeren's turn from secret Nazi sympathizer to active wartime collaborator. Van Meegeren also donated large sums of money to German relief organizations, produced paintings, and created art shows in order to ingratiate himself to the Nazis. One of the most telling evidences of Van Meegeren's collaboration with the Nazis was a book he published in 1942 titled Tikeningen. The book was a collection of Van Meegeren's pro-Nazi drawings. It also contained the writings of a Nazi poet. In essence, it was a very thinly veiled tribute to the Nazi ideology. The design of the cover was obviously pro-Nazi. Van Meegeren himself admitted that the symbol displayed was intended to look like a wolf's angel. The wolf's angel was the German symbol used by the Dutch Nazi party, as well as various German panzer divisions during World War II. Hostilities will end officially at one minute after midnight tonight. The German war is therefore at an end. Just a few days after the end of World War II, a signed copy of Tikeningen was found in Adolf Hitler's own library. It was signed by none other than Han von Meegeren, a fact that von Meegeren adamantly denied, stating, a German officer must have signed my name. Although this find did not directly affect von Meegeren's trial, after the sentencing, the Dutch government analyzed the handwriting and declared that the story of an unknown German officer was not even remotely credible. Via een hoorapparaat kregen ze een uitleg en worden ze gedirigeerd naar de verschillende kunstscheppingen. De gesproken tekst is in verschillende talen. By the time of his death, Van Meegeren was perhaps the second most famous man in the Netherlands. He was remembered not as a collaborator, but as a genial man who had been misunderstood. His paintings have become extremely popular, garnering him a cult following. Indeed, Van Meegeren's forged paintings are almost more valuable than the original masterpieces and he has become the subject of documentaries, TV episodes, books, and films. In addition, the great forger has become a victim of forgery. In a truly ironic twist, one of the most notable artists to produce fake Van Meegerens was his son, Jacques. Cashing in on his father's reputation and popularity, Jacques learned to perfectly imitate his father's signature and style. It's been discovered that many of the works Jacques passed off as genuine Han van Meegerens were really his own. Jacques never possessed his father's skill, but he did inherit his penchant for deception. As Jonathan Lopez puts it, Van Meegeren was truly a brilliant fraud. I know nothing. I am nothing.